Question number 51 says everyone which device is used by doctors to measure the temperature of body. So here you can see there are four options barometer, thermometer, periscope and stethoscope. So we will keep in mind a device that is used by doctors in order to measure body temperature is thermometers. Doctors use precisely thermometers in order to measure the temperature of body. If we talk about barometer, barometer is a scientific device that we use to measure atmospheric pressure. Periscope is used to view the objects above the sea level and stethoscope. Stethoscope is used to view, sorry, is used to hear the heart sounds and is once again used by doctors. So thermometer, thermometer is a scientific device that is used by doctors. Question number 52 says, which is the national flower of India? Black orchid, lotus, rose or daisy. So all of us know when we talk about national flower, the national flower of India is lotus. We also call lotus as padma. In Sanskrit, this question can also be asked. So, Padma Shri, Padma Vibhushan, we have these words. Lotus. Lotus is called as Padma in Sanskrit. The national flower of India is Padma. Question number 53. The largest single religious gathering in the world is the final pilgrimage at Kashi, Catholics at Lourdes, the Kumbh Mela at Prayag, or Muslims gathering at Makkah. So, you have to keep in mind the Kumbh Mela that takes at the Prayag Raj. Kumbh Mela at Prayag was the largest single human gathering ever happened in the world. So, this was very much in the news as well. So, largest single human gathering in the world, everyone, we have is the Prayag Mela at Kumbh. Sorry, the Kumbh Mela at Prayag. Next after this is Kuchipudi is the classical dance of which is state. So this is like a very sought after and very favorite question of examiner. Thrice this question has been asked in Rashtra Military School entrance exam. And Kuchipudi is the classical dance of Andhra Pradesh. Of which state it is classical dance? It is the classical dance of Andhra Pradesh. This we have to keep in mind. Next we are going to go towards the new next question. The next question we have is everyone. Question number 55. Question number 55 says, which stringed instrument has the greatest number of strings? So, which stringed instruments? Stringed instruments are basically those musical instruments which are played with the help of string. Like you see a guitar, guitar has strings. When you see a violin, violin has strings. Sitar has strings. So, when we see as such all these musical instruments, they contain strings. So, question is asking which contains greatest number of strings? Guitar, ukulele, violin or sitar. So, we will keep in mind, sitar is the musical instrument that contains the greatest number of strings. Guitar also contains string, ukulele also contains string and violin also contains a string. But among all of them, sitar is the musical instrument that contains the maximum number of strings. Next we have is, which among the following is India's first aircraft carrier? Which among the following is India's first aircraft carrier? So when we talk about India's air, first aircraft carrier, we have to keep in mind that the answer for this is INS Vigrat. Okay? India's first aircraft carrier, everyone, we will keep in mind the answer is INS Vigrat. Next question, question number 57. Major Dhyanchan the National Stadium is located at. So Major Dhyanchan the National Stadium. Major Dhyanchan was a very famous and a very profound hockey player. Okay, Major Dhyanchan was a very famous and very profound hockey player and Major Dhyanchan National Stadium is located at New Delhi. Where is Major National Dhyanchan Stadium located? It is located at New Delhi. Okay, we also call Major Dhyanchan as Magician of Hockey. Very profoundly he is known by the name of Magician of Hockey. So this also we will keep in mind, Magician of Hockey. Major Dhyanchan. Next question is, which of the following is not a sense organ? Eyes, brains, ears and nose. So sense organ is a chapter in the syllabus of Swenning School Lanterns exam and we know that there are five sense organs in our body. That is skin, then we have our eyes, then our nose, then we have our ears that help us to listen and then we have the senses. These are all the five sense organs that we have. Now, which of these is not a sense organ? So, you have to keep in mind, brain is not a sense organ, everyone. Eyes is a sense organ. What is the sense associated with eyes? To see the things. What is the sense associated with the no, ears? To hear. Hearing is the sense associated. And with nose. What is the sense associated with nose? Sense associated with nose is smell. So, to see, hear and smell, we have sense organs. And brain is not a sense organ, okay? Brain is not a sense organ in our body. 
Question number 59 from the topic of sports. Kobe Bryant is associated with which of the following sports? Kobe Bryant is associated with basketball. Kobe Bryant was a very famous basketball player who passed away like a few years back. Kobe Bryant was associated with basketball. Next is land formed with a natural elevation of earth. So natural elevation. Natural elevation means utha hua. Like this is a plane. But a surface like this, this is referred to as natural elevation. Okay, when it happens on the land, we call it a natural elevation. So, a landform with a natural elevation is referred to as mountain. What do we call it? We call it as mountain. A natural elevation of earth is called as mountain. Which among the following is a kind of boat used to give rides to tourists in Dal Lake of Kashmir? So, in Dal Lake in Kashmir, which boat is used to give rights to the tourist? So answer is Shikaras. Okay. Shikaras are the boat that we use in order to give rights to the tourists. This is a very important question. Shikaras. The boats that are primarily there in the Dal Lake, they are called as Shikaras. Next question after this, everyone we have is compressed natural gas. Compressed natural gas or what we call as CNG. So CNG is stored under high pressure, normal pressure, low pressure or none of these. So you will keep in mind CNG is stored under high pressure. We stored CNG under high pressure. Now what is the reason uh, to store CNG under high pressure? Because we can keep the CNG under high pressure. It takes a very little space for the storage. That's why we keep it under high pressure. And to keep in mind, what is CNG? CNG is a fossil fuel. What is CNG? CNG is a fossil fuel. And if the question comes, which one among the following is the least, cleanest and the least toxic fossil fuel? So you will keep in mind that CNG is the cleanest and least toxic fossil fuel. Cleanest and least toxic fossil fuel. Next we have is question 63. Cellular jail is located in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Andaman, Nicobar and Lakshadweep. So cellular jail is located in Andaman and Nicobar. Okay, historical monuments. This question is where is cellular jail located? Cellular jail is located in Andaman and Nicobar. Next question we will go after this is everyone. Earth rotates on its axis from this question is from gravitation. Okay, Earth rotates on its axis from west to east, east to west, north to south, south to north. So Earth rotates on its axis from west direction to east direction. This you will keep in mind. Earth never rotates from east to west. Because Earth rotates from west to east, we have sun rising from east and setting in the west. So Earth rotates from west to east direction. Question number 65. Which among the following is responsible for membership of new states in the United Nations? In the United Nations, the question is from international organization. So in the United Nations, whenever a new country wants to become a member, whenever a new state wants to become a member, which unit, okay, which principal organ of the United Nations is responsible for that? This is the question asking. So right answer for the question is General Assembly. But I always keep in mind, General Assembly you have, that is responsible for granting the permissions to uh, be the members of the new state, okay, to be the members, all of these things that is carried out by General Assembly. Next question, the component of planet Earth that contains all living things including microorganisms, plants and animals. So this is a previous year question that has been asked last year in the study school levels exam only. And the answer for this question is biosphere, okay? So always keep in mind, biosphere is the, uh, the living component of the earth, okay? Hydrosphere, hydrosphere is the water component of the earth. All the water that is there, that's under biosphere. Lithosphere, lithosphere is the rocks or soil component of the earth. And atmosphere, atmosphere is the air component of the earth, okay? It is the air component of the earth. Question number 67, the Empire State Building. Okay, the Empire State Building, where it is located? So keep in mind, Empire State Building is located in USA. That's in New York. To be more precisely, where in USA? In New York, USA, Empire State Building is located. After this, how many tribes are there in India? So as you know, there is a chapter in our syllabus that says tribal communities. 
okay we have we have to discuss about tribal community so in india there are a total of 645 tribal communities how many tribal communities are there there are a total of 645 tribal communities in india okay so this you will keep in mind the total number of 645 tribal communities or we also called as tribes are there in india question number 68 which of the following is least expensive fossil fuel that means sabse sasta fossil fuel kaun sa hai coal next we have an option petroleum natural gas and solar energy so natural gas which is often known by the name of cng it is the cheapest or what we can say it is the least expensive fossil fuel okay it is the cheapest or we can say it is the least expensive fossil fuel okay next question after this Premlata Agarwal is remembered with honor because she was a mountaineer and astronaut a rail driver or a doctor so we all know Premlata Agarwal was a very famous mountaineer okay who is Premlata Agarwal Premlata Agarwal is a very famous mountaineer so right answer for the question is mountaineer Premlata Agarwal is a very famous and profoundly known mountaineer mountaineer is someone who climbs the mountain then which of the following organizations gives the kalinga prize for popularizing science kalinga prize for popularizing science is given or like in every certain period of time and it is a award by unesco unesco is a international organization okay united nations education and scientific council so you have to keep in mind kalinga prize popularizing science so basically the organizations and individuals that have worked towards popularizing science उनको ये दिया जाता है यूनेस्को का कलिंगा प्राइज फॉर पॉपुलराइजिंग द साइंस क्वेश्चन नंबर 72 एन एस्ट्रोनॉट इन द आउटर स्पेस विल ऑब्जर्व द स्काई एज व्हाइट ब्लैक ब्लू और रेड सो देयर इज एन एस्ट्रोनॉट इन द आउटर स्पेस हाउ द एस्ट्रोनॉट विल ऑब्जर्व द स्काई फ्रॉम हियर फ्रॉम द अर्थ व्हेन वी सी वी ऑब्जर्व द स्काई एज ब्लू इन कलर इन डे टाइम एंड ब्लैक इन कलर एट नाइट टाइम बट व्हाट अबाउट द एस्ट्रोनॉट इन द आउटर स्पेस that astronaut in the outer space will always observe sky as black in color that will always and always always observe the sky as a black in color question number 73 the space research and missions of india are looked after by who look after the space research and missions of india so all the space research all the space missions like mangalyaan chandrayaan all of them in india they have been taken care by isro ISRO is the space agency of India. What is the full form of ISRO? This can also be asked. Indian Space Research Organization. What is the full form? Indian Space Research Organization. ISRO. DRDO. DRDO. Everyone, we will keep in mind is associated with defense. DRDO is associated with DRDO is associated with defense. So DRDO का full form क्या है? defense research and development organization okay so all the defense associated research that happens in the country that is taken care by drdo next we have is barc what is the full form of barc bhabha atomic research center what is the full form of barc bhabha atomic research center okay this you have to keep in mind one more question is often time asked from this that is where are the headquarters of isro so headquarters of isro everyone where are they the headquarters of isro are located in bangalore okay in bangalore that's in karnataka however for barc where are the headquarters the headquarters are in mumbai maharashtra this we have to keep in mind question number 74 the blank is the thinnest layer of the earth crust core mantle or soil which of the following is the thinnest layer of the earth the thinnest layer of the earth everyone is crust the uppermost layer of the earth is also the thinnest layer of the earth so you will keep in mind crust crust is the thinnest layer of the earth next what is the function of antibiotic the function of antibiotic is primarily to kill the bacteria okay the function of antibiotic is to kill the bacteria one question might also come who discovered the first antibiotic the first antibiotic was discovered by 
एलेक्सेंडर फ्लैमिंग क्वेश्चन क्या आ सकता है कि पहली एंटीबायोटिक किसने डिस्कवर की तो हमको याद रखना है पहली एंटीबायोटिक एलेक्सेंडर फ्लैमिंग ने डिस्कस की थी व्हाट वाज द नेम ऑफ दैट एंटीबायोटिक द नेम वाज पेनिसिलिन व्हाट वाज द नेम द नेम वाज पेनिसिलिन द फर्स्ट एंटीबायोटिक वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय पेनिसिलिन वाज पेनिसिलिन सॉरी एंड इट वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय एलेक्सेंडर फ्लैमिंग सो दीस वर एवरीवन 75 क्वेश्चंस दैट वी हैड फ्रॉम द जीके सेक्शन Hello everyone. Now we are going to start off with the English section. So in the English section, you can see first question we have is from the comprehension passage. So let us start by reading the comprehension passage. The passage says, "What causes monsoons? The monsoon, which is essentially the seasonal reversal of the wind, causes most of the rainfall received in India and some other parts of the world. The primary cause of monsoon is the difference between annual temperature trends over land and sea." The apparent position of the sun with reference to earth oscillates from the tropic of cancer to the tropic of capricorn thus the lower pressure region created by solar heating also changes latitude the northeast and southeast trade winds coverage in this low pressure zone which is known as intertropical convergence zone or itcz This low pressure region sees continuous rise of moist wind from sea surface to upper layer of atmosphere there the cooling means that air can no longer hold the moisture resulting in precipitation the rainy seasons of east asia sub saharan africa australia and the northern part of north america coincide with the shift of itcz towards this region so this was everyone our passage and now we have to solve the questions based on this the first question is monsoon is a type of sea wave a seasonal reversal in wind direction a very hot wind or very cold wind so let us go back to the passage it is given here what is monsoon monsoon is essentially the seasonal reversal of wind what is given monsoon is essentially the seasonal reversal of wind so right answer for the question is monsoon is a seasonal reversal of wind question 77 what is the full form of itcz the full form of itcz is intertropical convergence zone what is the full form of itcz the full form is intertropical convergence zone the option b itcz intertropical convergence zone question 78 the major cause of monsoon is difference between annual temperature trends over land and sea option b difference between day and night temperature option c moisture in the atmosphere or option d none of these so when we will go back to the passage everyone we can see what why does this happen why does the mon monsoons occur so right in answer here is the primary cause of monsoon is difference between annual temperature trends over land and sea that is what causes monsoon so right answer is option a difference between annual temperature trends over the land and sea that causes monsoon next is question number 79 the low pressure region is created by solar heating lunar cooling moist wind and dry wind so you can see here that it is written that low pressure region sees continuous rise and it is created due to the cold winds okay due to the solar heating the low pressure region is created by solar heating so right answer for the question is going to be option a solar heating and this is the last question from the passage that says it rains when moist wind goes down dry winds meets moist winds the air can no longer hold moisture resulting in precipitation or the annual temperature goes down so why does precipitation happens because the air can no longer hold the moisture in the air that causes the precipitation question number 81 This is the question associated with articles. So New York is a large city. New York is n large city. The or an article. So right answer is A. We will use New York is a large city. Why? Because large starts with L. L is a consonant. So we will say New York is a large city. Question eighty two. Are you attending blank reception today? So we are talking about a very specific reception. The reception that's going to happen today only. We are specific about it. That we are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going to happen today. We are only talking about that one reception that's going
This question is from preposition. The books are blank the table. The books are in the table. The books are with the table, at the table or on the table. So when we say that uh, the pen is on the table, the book is on the table, what are we doing? We are actually telling the position of the article. We are actually telling the position of the books, the position of the pens. So when we say the books are on the table, okay, what are we doing? We are telling the position. We are describing the position. So here we will use preposition of position on because books are above on the surface of table here we will use books are on the table next is 84 the boy fell blank the pond into of in or on the boy fell blank the pond into of in or on the boy fell into the pond okay the boy fell into the pond what are we going to say we are going to say the boy fell into into this will be the right answer into the pond question number 85 all roads lead to Rome. so here we have to tell about the types of sentence so when you will read the sentence at once you will get to know there is no question mark used that makes it not an interrogative sentence no exclamation marks is there that means it is not an exclamatory sentence there is no order there is no command there is no request making it a declarative sentence okay all road leads to room that becomes a declarative sentence question 86 look at the opposite blank of pearls she is wearing round her neck set ring chain or the next option we have everyone is string so when we will look here the question is basically asking us about the collective noun okay so a group of pearls we generally refer a group of pearls as string what do we call the group of pearls the group of pearls is called as string okay we call it as string next is what is the feminine of gander what is the feminine word we have for gander g-a-n-d-e-r so gander and goose okay gander is the masculine noun the feminine noun we have is goose which of the following words below rhymes with ball? So which word rhymes with ball? Play, funny, school or fall. Ball, fall. They have a similar sound. They have similar spelling at the end. Look, A double L all, A double L fall. So, ball and fall. Next question is from pronouns. Neither marry nor blank knew why the store was closed. Neither marry nor blank knew why the store was closed. So question we are saying is neither marry nor blank me aapko batana hai kya aega why the store was closed. So neither marry nor me knew why the store was closed. Ye incorrect hoga. Yaha pe for ourselves the preposition we will use is I. Neither marry nor I knew the store was closed. Okay. So I is here you will use neither marry nor I knew why the store was closed. He is an experienced painter. Find the adjective. So among all these sentences, we have to find the adjective. We have to find the adjective. Option A is he. He is not an adjective. We know he is a pronoun. We have to substitute the substitute for noun. He is not Let us say, I have to say, Sham is going to the market. So instead of using the word Sham, instead of using the noun Sham, we have to use a pronoun. So instead of Sham, I can use he. He is a pronoun. Painter. Painter is adjective. Nahi hai. Experienced. Experienced is an adjective term. Okay. We can say he is a painter. But when we say he is an experienced painter, that is telling us about the quality that he is experienced. And any word that describes the quality of a noun or pronoun, that becomes adjective. So here the answer will be, he is an experienced painter. What are we going to say? We will say he is an experienced painter. Next question everyone we have is, she blank bought a dress at very reasonable rate. She blank bought a dress at very reasonable rate. So answer here will be she has bought a dress at a very reasonable rate. She being will not be correct. M or does is also not correct. So she has bought a dress at a very reasonable rate. This will be our right answer. Question number 92. My father blank book to money. My father prefer book to money. My father is prefer book to money. My father prefers book to money. Or my father are prefer. So R to nahi aega definitely. R we use for plural. Yeh to hum ek father ke baat kare. So this is singular. So what it will become? My father prefers book to money. What it will become? It will become my father prefers book to money. Next question. 
they are blank poor too by the slang they are very poor to buy the slang they are too poor to buy the slang they are a little poor to buy the slang or they are much poor to buy the slang so answer will be they are too poor to buy the slang they are too poor to buy the slang question number 94 receptionist must be able to rely information pass messages accurately so we have to tell what will come in the blank option a is but option b because option c or or option d and let's write the option here and option d and so we have to tell receptionist must be able to relay information and pass messages correctly okay what we will use here we will use and and will help us to connect both the sentences so receptionists must be able to relay information and pass messages accurately next question after this interjection what a beautiful dress wow what a beautiful dress or oh, what a beautiful dress oh what a beautiful dress or hum what a beautiful dress so interjections we use in a sentence why do we use them in order to make a sentence more expressive whenever in a sentence kabhi bhi jab hum koi ek sentence mein koi emotion express karna hota hai for that purpose we use what we use for that purpose interjections okay so i can see here wow what a beautiful dress i am like very happy i am very excited looking at the new dress it wow it's such a beautiful dress okay the answer will be wow what a beautiful dress next question everyone is question number 96 my friends blank the prime minister yesterday what will be the answer my friends saw the prime minister yesterday why yesterday why saw yesterday is there that means we are talking about past tense what is going to be the past tense of see the past tense of see is going to be saw my friends saw the prime minister yesterday question 97 james is english does he is he isn't he or does he so we can say james is english now we have to place a supply question tag is what will be the negative form of is the negative form of is will be isn't James is English, isn't? Instead of James, we are going to use a pronoun. Since James is the name of a boy, so we will use a pronoun for boy. So it will become isn't he? James is English, isn't he? Next is question number ninety-eight, where we have to arrange these sentences, these words in a meaningful sentence. So when he did not know, he was nervous and heard the hue and cried at midnight. What to do? So when we will rearrange it, the proper sequence will become. when he heard the you and cry at midnight he was nervous and didn't know what to do so it will become r q p s with r q p s the right answer will be option a when he heard the you and cry at midnight he was nervous and didn't know what to do next is we have to find antonym of adverse okay we have to find adverse what is the meaning of adverse first of all adverse means a very bad situation okay a very bad situation adverse situation adverse climatic conditions very bad climatic conditions so adverse means bad okay something that's not really good bad that is adverse now for adverse we have to find antonym for opposite of bad would be hostile hostile situation calming situations very friendly situations okay so antonym we have is hostile the right answer will be hostile next we have is 100 one goes on foot this is one word substitution so what we will call a person who goes on foot so a person that goes on foot we will be calling such a person as pedestrian what we will call that person we will call that person as pedestrian okay we will be calling that person as pedestrian one who walks on foot we call such a person as pedestrian now everyone we will be working on the intelligent section so first question question number 101 in the intelligent section that you can see is in a code language brinjal is written as l a j n i r b okay so let us very first identify what is the code between brinjal and l a j n i r b so if we will observe very carefully when we write brinjal what is the code l a j n i r b brinjal okay this is the left to to right sequence so the code is written in a opposite manner okay the code is written from 
राइट टू लेफ्ट सो हियर हैव लुक बी आर आई एन जे ए एल जस्ट अपोजिट लिखा हुआ है ठीक है द वर्ड्स आर सेम कोड इज रिटर्न जस्ट अपोजिटली नाउ लेट इज रीड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हाउ विल लेडी फिंगर बी रिटर्न दैट कोड वी आर राइटिंग ब्रिंजल एज okay if we are writing brinjal as l a j n i r p kya kiya humne just opposite way mein likha the same way lady finger ko bhi hum kya karenge just opposite way mein likhenge what will the code become r e g n i f y d a n from this direction towards this direction such a code everyone we can see in option c that is why the right answer for the question will be option c next is question number 102 in a certain code madras is written as d a m s a r then how will you code for mumbai so let us first find the relation between madras and d a m s a r m a d r a s madras and d a m s a r so we have made like this two two pairs okay and the positions of d and m have been changed s and r have been changed so d from its original place came to m s from its original place came to a okay so what it became d a m s a r so answer will be d a m s a r that's how the answer came the same thing we are going to do with mumbai now m u m i think i am coming right in front of camera yes there we go okay m u m b a i mumbai so m and m will change the position i and b will change the position what it will become m u m i a b that will be our code and such a code can be seen in option c that is why the right answer for the question will be option c question number 103 man is related to walk the same way fish is related to so let us have a look how is man related to walk man moves by walking i am a person you are a human being okay so when we are movement our movement is shown by walking we move from one place to another place by walking but how does fish moves from one place to another place the fish moves from one place to another place by swimming so right answer will be swimming that is why next is if glove is related to hand the same way hat is related to so how is glove related to hand glove is related to hand how is that because we wear gloves on our hands because we wear gloves on our hands so where do we wear hat hat we wear on our head so right answer for the question will be head glove is related to hand the same way hat is related to head question number 105 Choose the alternative. Seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, nine. What will be the next one in this series? So let us find. If you will add three in the seven, what are you going to get? You are going to get ten. When we do plus three in ten, we get thirteen. When we do plus three in thirteen, we get sixteen. When we do plus three in sixteen, we get nineteen. When we do plus three in nineteen, what are we going to get? ट्वेंटी वन सो बेसिकली हम सीरीज में क्या कर रहे थे हम हर नंबर में थ्री को ऐड कर रहे थे हमने सेवन में थ्री को ऐड किया वी गॉट टेन हमने टेन में थ्री को ऐड किया वी गॉट थर्टीन हमने थर्टीन में थ्री को ऐड किया वी गॉट सिक्सटीन हमने सिक्सटीन में भी थ्री को ऐड किया वी गॉट नाइनटीन तो अब हम नाइनटीन में क्या करेंगे हम नाइनटीन में भी थ्री को ऐड करेंगे जब हमने नाइनटीन में थ्री को ऐड किया वी गॉट द आंसर सॉरी नॉट ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू दैट विल बी ऑप्शन ए ट्वेंटी टू क्लियर है वन Similarly, a series-based question again. Eight, twelve, seventeen, twenty-three, thirty, and we have thirty-eight. So, eight and twelve. So, when you add four and eight, आपको क्या मिलता है? आपको मिलता है twelve. How I got to know this? हमने twelve minus eight करके देखा. The sum was fourteen. हमको क्या पता लगा? That when we add four and eight, तो हमको क्या मिला? Twelve. Similarly, हम 17 माइनस ट्वेल्व करके देखते हैं वी गॉट फाइव तो हमको ये पता चला जब हम 12 में प्लस फाइव कर रहे हैं दैट्स वेन वी गेट 17. नेक्स्ट टाइम वॉट आई डू इज आई डू 23 थ्री माइनस सेवनटीन ओके सो वेन वी डू 23 थ्री माइनस सेवनटीन वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू गेट वी आर गेटिंग सिक्स ओके वी आर गेटिंग सिक्स दैट इंडिकेटेड वेन वी आर सिक्स इन सेवनटीन तो हमको मिला ट्वेंटी so by chance हम क्या कर रहे हैं every time we are increasing one one number and we are adding that in our series so this time let us add 
23 23 में लेट अस ट्राई एडिंग 7 तो जब हमने 23 में 7 ऐड किया वी गॉट 30 इन 30 व्हेन वी एडेड 8 वी गॉट 38 इन 38 व्हेन आई एडेड 9 व्हाट विल बी गेट 38 प्लस 9 व्हाट विल बी द आंसर ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट व्हेन यू विल सॉल्व इट द आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन बी 47 सो दिस वे दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी वेरी इजीली सॉल्व्ड Next question is find the odd one in the given question. So breathing, swimming, playing, reading. So swimming, playing, reading, what are all these? These are all the voluntary activities. Voluntary activities. What are voluntary activities? Activities do up apne aap khud karte ho. You want to swim to aap swim karo. You want to play to aap play karo. You want to read to aap read karo. But what is breathing? Breathing is a Involuntary activities. Breathing is a involuntary activity. Involuntary activity का क्या meaning होता है? Such activities जो आपके control में नहीं हैं. Breathe आपको करना ही है. You cannot control your breathing. So breathing. The right answer will be breathing. Next is Venn diagram. We have to indicate the best relation between traveler, train, and bus. So right answer for this question will be everyone option D. Traveler, train, and bus. Why? The big circle indicates a traveler. Okay, the big circle indicates the traveler. Now, a traveler travels by train. A traveler travels by bus. Okay, a traveler travels by both a train as well as by bus. So, what will be the right answer? Train and bus. Next is question number one hundred and nine. Arrange the following given words in the alphabetical order: was, waist, war. Ring girl and wrist, and we have to find a word that will come first. So, W A is common in all these words, okay? In three, so definitely R comes before A comes before R. So these two words, ये तो first हो ही नहीं सकते क्योंकि यहाँ पे second word R है, ठीक है? So R never comes before A. Next is between A A A. So these two words we have cancelled. Next we have is S P Q R S. In the alphabetical order, R comes first. So definitely, war will come first. सबसे पहले क्या आएगा? War will come first. Question number 110. Aruna ranks 12th in the class of 46. What will be her rank from the last? So, her rank from the beginning. What is Aruna's rank from beginning? Aruna's rank from top. What is it? It is 12th in class of 46. So we have to find her rank from last. How we will do it? In order to find rank from last, total number of students minus rank of Aruna, okay, minus 1. So basically we have to do 46 minus 13. So when we will do 46 minus 13, what will be her rank from the last? Her rank from the last will be 33. So right answer for the question will be option A, 33. That Aruna's rank from the last is 33. Next question, question number 111. If 4 plus 3 is 12, 6 plus 4 is 24, then 7 plus 3 will be. Now, all of us, we have learned the basic calculations. So, humko pata hai that nowhere 4 plus 3 in the maths is 12. 4 plus 3 is 7. So how come 4 plus 3 is 12? So there is a logic behind it. If you look very carefully, dekhoge, so when you multiply 4 by 3, you get 12. Similarly, when you multiply 6 by 4, you get 24. So we can say the plus sign here means that it is the sign of multiplication. So we will multiply 7 by 3 and we will get the answer. 21. So right answer for the question will be option C 21. Next is the question number 112. A boy pointing to a photograph of a boy, Suresh said he is the son of the only son of my mother. How is Suresh related to boy? Okay, so Suresh pointed to a boy and he said he is the son of the only son of my mother. Okay, so let us draw the family chart. Who is the son? He. The boy is the son of only son of my mother. And we are talking about my mother. So my here refer to Suresh. Okay, my here refer to Suresh. Because if I say my mother, that means my mother. 
Similarly, Suresh is saying my mother. Kiske mother ke baare mein baat kare hai? Suresh mother. Okay, so let us start this story with Suresh mother. Okay, so we have here the Suresh mother. Who we have here? Here we have Suresh mother. So only son of Suresh mother. So here we have only son of Suresh mother. Who will be the only son of Suresh mother? Let us assume आप आपके mother के only child हो. तो who will be the only son of your mother? You. Okay. The same way, if Suresh is the who will be the only son of Suresh mother? Suresh will be the only son of Suresh mother. So who is the only son? The only son is Suresh. Okay. Now he is the son of only son of my mother. Who is the only son of my mother? The only son of Suresh mother is Suresh, and the boy is the son of Suresh. Okay. The boy is the son of Suresh. So how is Suresh related to the boy? If boy is the son of Suresh, then Suresh must be the father. Then Suresh must be the father of that boy. So right answer for the question will be father. That Suresh is the father of that boy. Similarly, we have the next question that says, one among Uday and Vishal were talking to each other face to face at a crossing. If Vishal's shadow was exactly left to Uday, which direction they were facing? Okay, so two things here you have to keep in mind that they are facing, they are heading face to face, they are talking face to face, and the shadow of okay, the shadow of Vishal is left to go there and the time is morning okay so in the morning if your shadow is on the left the shadow of Uday is left too that means he must be facing the north because morning mein shadow is generally casted towards which direction in the morning the shadow is towards west okay because sun rises from east so the shadow is towards west so now if the shadow is on your left okay the shadow is on the left that means no the shadow is on the left of Uday that means if the shadow is on the left of Uday that means shadow is on the right of you and what is the direction on right of you okay when the direction right to you is north if the direction right to you is west how we got to know the direction right to us is west because the shadow is in the west so if your direction is your direction is your next direction is west then you are facing your direction in your direction you are facing in north direction have a look again here north south east and west your shadow is this way and if you are in the west direction if you are in the west direction if you are in the right shadow that means you are facing north right answer for the question is north next question is if it was Sunday on January 2016, what was the day on the week Jan 1, 2010? So how are we going to solve it? 2016, 2006 May on 1st Jan. Was it a leap year? Think about it everyone. Was this year a leap year? Okay, so you will count number of days. So as we all know that no, 2006 was not a leap year. 2000 was a leap year. After that, what was a leap year? 2004 was a leap year and 2008 is a leap year. Hanbu kaise pata chala? Whenever we have to find a leap year. ठीक है? जब भी हमको क्या find करता होता है? Whenever we have to find a leap year, तो हम क्या करते हैं? Last two digits को we divide by four. It's the divisibility of four. So let us try to divide zero six by four. Is it divisible? No. It is not divisible. Is it divisible? It's not divisible. Okay. That means 2006 was not a leap year. Then was 2007 a leap year? 2007 was also not a leap year. 2008 was a leap year. Okay. And then 2009 was also not a leap year. 2010 was also not a leap year. So, if on Jan 1, 2006, what was the day? The day was Sunday. Okay. So, on 2007. What day it will be in 2007? Your one day will be next. If it was Sunday, then next time which day will come? Next time it would come Monday. Okay? 2008. Which day will be in 2008? In 2008 it would come Tuesday. Which day will come in 2008? Let's write it more properly. Because every year, what happens? One day will add on. In 2008 it will be Tuesday. 
in 2009 now because 2008 was a leap year so instead of one day aapke two days forward honge so tuesday wednesday and thursday kya ho jayega tuesday wednesday and thursday do days aapke forward honge because leap year contains 366 days and in 2010 which day it will be friday kaun sa day aa jayega friday that is how the right answer for the question will be option c friday okay next is question number 150 if a p r x s and z are sitting in a row s and z are in the center a and p are at the ends r is sitting to left of a who is on the right of p so let us draw this arrangement okay z and s and z are at center a and p are at ends this we draw now till here we have solved r is sitting left of a okay so what will be the left of a here is r sitting okay on the left of a now where is p sitting who is right of p on the right of p who is left only x is left no so x must be on the right of p so right answer for the question will be option b x okay only x is left in the question so right answer will be x okay next we have to select a figure from the among the answer figures that will continue the same series established by the problem figures so let us solve this so arrow you can see here s then the opposite of s came here then n yahan chala gaya opposite n okay the mirror image of n came here l the l water image of l and this figure the water image of this and this figure so next we will need is the water image of z what will be the water image of z the water image of z you can see this will be the water image of the z when we will draw this what will be the water image of the z okay let's take this this is our z okay what will be the water image this will be the water image of z okay so this image you can see in two figures okay so right answer for the question everyone it will become c why it will become c because s is already there in the figures and none of the figure is getting repeated to so, kya hoga c will be the answer okay that is why option c will help us to continue the series next question is question number 170 select the figure among the following figures which will continue the same series as established by the problem figures okay so square triangle cross equilateral and then we have a triangle then this triangle moved here equal came here this move the square moved here the triangle came here so basically we are forming a pattern like this okay ye figure jo hai this is going here this is going here this is coming here this is here and this here next time you have a look the x went here the equals went here the question mark came here the triangle came here and it came here so this will keep on hunting all the time to hum seedhe last figure pe aate hain yahan kya hoga square will come in place of triangle okay so this one can be correct then triangle will go here so that is here x will come here that is here given here after that equals will come here so that is given here and question mark will come in between so right answer will be option b okay everyone so you keep in mind this way the right answer for the question will be option b question number next we have is 118 we have to choose the figure that is different from the rest So here you can see it's a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. Five dots are there. That's a triangle. Three dots are there. That's a square. Three to four dots are there. That's a hexagon. Six dots are there. And then that's a, a trapezium. No, not trapezium. A parallelogram. And then there are four dots are there. So we have to see which is different from the rest. So you will see here. So in all, here the darkened portion is very small. But in the case of this figure, you can see how darkened portion how. a strong it is how thick it is the darkened portion that is why the right answer will be option d the most different figure from the rest is option d question number 119 which figure is different from the rest so these you can see these are parallel lines okay what are they these are parallel lines only you can see in option c yeah anti parallel lines are parallel lines nahi hai so right answer ho jayega aapka option c okay because of anti parallel Select the suitable figure from the four alternatives that would complete the figure matrix. So triangle, triangle में क्या हुआ? A stick is placed and a comma is placed and then at the end this is placed. So basically, who क्या रहा है? Understand the rule. From this figure, this figure is subtracted. 
ओके फ्रॉम द सेकेंड फिगर वी आर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग द फर्स्ट फिगर सेकेंड फिगर में से जो फर्स्ट फिगर है दैट इज गेटिंग सब्ट्रैक्टेड सो बेसिकली इस फिगर में से हमने ये फिगर सब्ट्रैक्ट किया वॉट वी गॉट वी गॉट दिस ओके सेम थिंग आप देखिए इसमें से हमने इस फिगर में से ये फिगर सब्ट्रैक्ट किया दैट मीन्स इतना पोर्शन हमने सब्ट्रैक्ट किया वी आर लेफ्ट विथ प्लस इस फिगर में से हमने ये कंप्लीट फिगर में से ये फिगर सब्ट्रैक्ट किया सो यू विल लेफ्ट विथ जस्ट एक्स सो राइट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन डी दैट इज फोर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ट्वेंटी वन फाइंड आउट द अल्टरनेटिव फिगर दैट कंटेन्स एक्स एज इट्स पार्ट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ इम्बेडेड इमेज दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ इम्बेडेड इमेज तो आप ये इमेज देखिए वेरी केयरफुली बोल्ड पेन लिटिल लुक एट दिस इमेज वेरी केयरफुल इट्स लाइक दिस ओके अब ये इमेज आपको किस फिगर में देखने मिलेगी इन दिस फिगर कैन यू सी इट नो बिकॉज यहाँ पे ये एक जो लाइन रिक्वायर्ड था ये नहीं है दिस फिगर इज वेरी मच लाइक दिस बट आप यहाँ देखोगे सो देर इज नो स्ट्रेट लाइन इसमें ये यहाँ पे लाइन है यहाँ पे लाइन है बट यहाँ की जो लाइन है दैट इज मिस प्लेस सो इन दिस फिगर दिस कैन बी मेड दिस this this and then we have this that is why the right answer will be option a okay everyone question number 122 we have to find a mirror image for the given combination so let us ask us write the mirror image so for two two in the mirror image will be like this one will be like this q will be like this three like this four will be like this s then if you will look at this to abhi tak aap yahan karoge so you get the answer such a figure Two, one, Q. This can be seen in option B. So right answer for the question will be option B. Question number one twenty three. Choose the figure that would closely resemble the unfolded form of the figure set. So now, what we did, we had a piece of paper. We folded this very piece of paper from this side, from this side, and then we punched the holes. So when you open it, you will see that. अगेन इट विल बिकम स्क्वायर क्योंकि हमने पेपर को फोल्ड करके पंच किया है सो ये दिस इज द रिप्रेजेंट द लाइन ऑफ फोल्ड तो यहाँ पे भी आपका एक होल आएगा यहाँ पे भी यहाँ एंड यहाँ राइट आंसर विल बिकम ऑप्शन सी ओके राइट आंसर विल बिकम ऑप्शन सी नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 124। सो हियर यू कैन सी सिलेक्ट द सूटेबल फिगर फ्रॉम आंसर फिगर्स दीज आर द प्रॉब्लम फिगर्स एंड यू हैव टू टेल विच विल कम नेक्स्ट ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी In this, have a look. आप सब जगह देखोगे तो in all the leaves, only the inside portion is shaded. Okay, only the inner portion of the leaf is shaded. Okay, so this portion, this option will be deducted because यहाँ पे outer portion of the leaf shaded है. यहाँ पे भी आप देखिए outer portion of the leaf shaded है. यहाँ पे भी outer portion of the leaf shaded है. So this is deducted. Okay, so the right answer for this can be option C. Okay, the right answer here will be option C. and the last question we have from the intelligence section is that we have to complete the pattern so when you will look at the pattern observe it very carefully we have to complete it look at this pattern and observe it very carefully aap dekhenge yahan pe that ye figure diya hai so basically if i have to complete this pattern it should be something like this a line should come here a line should come from here and a line should go here if you will look at it where will you find such a figure such a figure can be seen in option d that is why option d will help us to complete the given figure so this was the entire uh, intelligence section everyone that we solved in the today's uh, class